Hey guys, today we're going to react to Glitch X 2024. Okay, so now we're at the YouTube premiere for Glitch X 2024. Who's excited for this? You or me? Everyone else? It's everyone else including me and you. So yeah, um, of course, Mur Murder Drones is now an archive for the Glitch production series or company. Okay, now in... Uh, in... 20 seconds finally okay in 15 seconds it's time here we go in 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 here we go Boom. Well, hey, a glitch box. <laughs> oh, it's in there. Ow. Ah! Oh, if you don't know who that is, this is Glitch's OC and mascot, Bug. Not gonna lie, she looks cute. Glitch X 2024. Welcome everyone to Glitch hey, X 2024. Kevin and Luke. Oh, man, it's so exciting to be here. I love Kevin. you, Hobo Bros. This particular Glitch X is going to be a little different than last year's one, where last year's was a live stream. Today, we actually have a bunch of indie creators that we want to share with you guys, really putting the spotlight on the okay. indie animation scene. What hey we want guys. to do with Glitch X and what we want to do with Glitch in general is really, really trying to bring up the entire indie animation industry, or the animation mm, industry in general about. together. Since last year, Okay. So many amazing creative Orbis, shows have come Nabiu, out of the and have gone funded. Uh, um, epilogue for support, of Andy have announced small teasers Manda online. Manda Trolled Hall. And the whole Catching up. Of Glitch X is to share that with you guys. Why and my so friend you guys can go mentioned this so please, about this. everyone that we showed today. This is a power really holder. You can just support, and honestly, the best way you can support is really just sharing and talking about the show and spreading that awareness. Obviously, if they have a Kickstarter, or if they have any merchandise or a website to go to, please feel free to do that as well. But sharing yeah. goes a really, really long way. Okay, and we got some nice. fun segments peppered all throughout today's video. So look Why? forward to that. We also are interviewing Olin Rogers, the creator of Final Space. Final and, Space. Uh, another indie animated pilot called Godspeed here Godspeed. on YouTube. Godspeed, okay. He's an incredibly, incredibly experienced and successful creator that started ah. on YouTube, went to Netflix, Netflix. all the show canceled and wiped off the face of Yeah, the Netflix kind of sucks. Is, you know, really, really they sad. They remove so our favorite show. That, but then we also Talk about being greedy. his journey into the indie animation scene, creating his own pilot, and I'm so excited for that. I think we're going to be able to learn so much. So please stay tuned for that as well. That's also okay. going to be in. And without with that, Luke, I think let's start. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Bug. Not gonna lie, you look cute. I'm kidding. Right. Oh no! Here we go, folks. Once upon a time, there was a boy and a girl who broke the moon. Oh As no! As pieces of the moon fell, people's lives were permanently changed. Oh no! What's going the boy to happen lost now? His father, oh, and the girl that's actually lost sad. Herself. Well, how? However, the boy and girl's guilty conscience overcame the two one day, and so they began to confess their crime, for they knew the worst was yet to come. Okay. It was an accident, cried the girl. Cried the girl. We will fix it, promise. Are you sure about that? The people stared quietly. A child couldn't do this. Of course One you can't do this. What a silly yeah, story. Of course you can't do this. Another. The story and cannot story be true unless, unless you untroubled children. Girl. Is this just another silly story? Well, it is not actually. It's not a silly story. And yes, this is. I forgot this series name. 
Hello everyone at GlitchX. My name is Jordan Whitman. I'm a Hi. by the Sea, and thank you so Lord much by the sea. for allowing us to showcase our indie animation work. Uh, Earlier that's this year, cute. a small team and myself developed and released the animated pilot for Port by the Sea. With it came the hope that we could showcase a small sample of a larger narrative mm, that we've been planning out for a long time. What we just showcased was some foreshadowing for the series and what could come next. Port by the Sea, that's nice. Port by the Sea is a limited series and contained narrative with a beginning, middle, and end. It follows two kids, Port and Umi, and their pet crab Jolly Roger as they set forth. The animation looks like a gravity in falls. In order to prevent an ancient titan named Tiamat from flooding the world once again, it's a coming of age story with a variety of difficult obstacles the main characters need to overcome, as okay. well as a story that highlights <clears throat> the lasting effects of consequences from characters' actions. It's our hope okay. now that we well, can find a nice. home for the short series, so we can make more series. This looks like as we look toward uh, options gravity and falls. Interested vendors, you we'll nailed this animation. And what could come next? Thank you so much again for everyone's support. With this project. No problem. All Have a great day, animator or port by the sea. What's next? Okay. Atlas and the stars. All my life, I've known that my place is out there among the stars. That's why tonight I'm gonna steal a starship and leave this life. Minions! For good. Tonight we go to steal the moon! Safety concerns. Oh no. In case you've forgotten, today is our planet's feeding day. Okay. This power inside of me is dwindling. And I've no idea how much longer I can keep this planet alive. Well, that's right. An anime series by Miranda Animations. Glitch S. Glitch X. It's like Nintendo Direct. Yeah, but way longer. I promise. Usually, Nintendo Direct only takes about 40 minutes, hey while everyone. this is My like almost Chris. an hour. I'm both the creator and the animator of Atlas. And the Hi, stars. creator and the animator of Atlas and, and the Stars. The, stars. the first episode of the series was released last December, and I'm currently last part December. of the animation for the second episode. Okay. Just the process, Nebula. With a total of eight episodes, this series remains an ongoing production. You can help support the show by subscribing to my Patreon, Patreon. get behind-the-scenes access to exclusive content, monthly updates, and so much more. You can also I check don't out do our merch, Patreon. watch the episode, or it's follow uh, me on my socials money to for keep them. up with the show. Yes, excellent. Thank you so much for having me be a part of this year's Glitch X. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoy the show. I like glitches. Shout to Hobo Bros. I like you, Hobo Bros. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh no! TABC! No, we were just standing in this void for about 30 minutes. The creativity! Actually, the it's art, the glitch the passion. X void. Do you feel it seeping through your ophthalmic arteries? Well, I do kind of feel a migraine from all your shouting. I knew it! All that indie animation that yeah, just the animation. was so inspiring! You! Disembodied souls at home! If you are practicing or wanting to create the art such as animation, oh my god, or yodeling, then you got this! Oh, I know I like you that all video. have the potential to make something amazing, like this cool rabbit I drew, named. Uh, uh, what? Good job, Kane. You're welcome! Now let's proceed with the show! Okay. Can we go back to the circus now? No. You're going back to the real world where you should be right now. Hey, Bug again, how you doing? Horizon Owls, I think. Play trailer. This is like a. Yep. Ah! Here we go. Ah, this is like a DVD or a game. Video game. Menu, right? Delicious god. Okay. Bye. Or not. Oh. I'm okay. Hey, Captain, 
your copy of Trinocular's Monthly just came in the mail. <gasps> oh, <laughs> wow. Bye. Hmm? Stupid. Okay. Ooh, this looks fun. This looks fire. The animation looks fire, I'm not gonna lie. Horizon. Ow. I think I I cannot figure out what name is that. Yo, y'all good? No, we're not good. Keep working. Campaign launches. Ow. Oh, this is like a good chance is like a Nintendo Direct. I, I already said that, but by looking at the transition, it's like Nintendo Direct. Wow, Luke and Kevin, I'm very proud of you. Tengo que ser bueno. Oh, dear God. Oh, I'm... I'm sorry, I don't speak Spanish. I am very sorry. Hey, at least the animation looks fire. Oh, great. Oh, okay. We got the some metal here. Assigned you that contract. Needs got it from some blues a few days ago. Okay. You're only as good as the company you keep. You know what's Did you just you point back. a middle finger at us? I'm kidding. Cut it off. Anything about you that's actually good? I don't miss twice. I don't Take know what you're shot. talking about. Little Red. It's uh, a pity. Little Red. Little Red. Father has been through. Mistakes are best well, that's left behind. Bad. After all. Okay. Oh damn. Oh dear God, here we go. Monkey Wrench! Wow! Those movie High end so cool! And, Uzi. and they're pilots! Just like me! I yeah. know, right? I get so pumped seeing this kind of stuff! You guys are rad! We got so inspired, in fact, N and I have a little something to show. Oh, and was it? Presenting our own pilot! The, the deafening? Wait, Burge Rose is back? Balls around everyone dying! <laughs> what? Here's the concept art. Oh. Death by cuteness. Frightening, I know. Ah, okay. Uh, work in progress. We gotta figure it out. Just of course. go watch more shows while we sort this. Enjoy the Wait, rest of Liam the show. Vickers? I feel bad. Uh, hi, bug. Let's hear your voice, bug. Never mind. So, got a plan? Yep. Wait, uh, that voice sounds familiar. I forgot. The happening? I forgot. Ooh. Please get me out of this. This is a terrible idea. Relax. We both know we'll be fine. Hey, boss. A hunter, huh? Hunter, right? My dad's missing, and they know why. Why? <laughs> what a joke. Not just any T4 scumbag, are you? Oh dear. Congrats for the time going on. He'll never forget them. The heavens. We play it right. See your psycho. Heathens is an indie anime dark fantasy series for and about young adults. Ah. Forever bored by his work as one of Hell's public servants and several oh. other failed careers. Axel, okay. Bright eyed demon finally takes the plunge and joins up with the Hunter's Inquisition. A Ooh, bounty hunter. Hunting, right? He and his yeah, look at this. Colors become an official squad. And By looking at this, exciting new adventures I can tell it's fire already. At the most dangerous time, the hell itself. Oh. Heathens is a story years in the making by Studio Sony. The shower, I forgot your dream day. team of both award-winning and on-the-rise artists from... Oh, congrats! United by anime brainworms congrats, and man. devotion to indie animation. 
Congrats. members have worked in studios and on productions such as these guys. Oh! This year, our first Kickstarter got funded, which means the Heathens pilot will release 2025. Oh, that's nice. If you're nice. a place where you can support our journey, you can check out our cool new Patreon and follow us on socials, where we share production updates, merch news, okay. character insights, and a whole lot more. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Studio Psycho, we're proud of you. Yeah, I already know about you, kinda, about Spider-Man. I forgot. It's just it's totally fine. By looking at the Dungeon Flip. Cleveland, players. my son! Is it true that you found a new dungeon for that pesky ace of wands? Yes, mother. He even sold us his tower in the desert as part of the deal. Wow. Well, that property was more valuable than he like realized. Like mother, like son. Kind of planned! Um, why are you kneeling? Oh. I, uh, dropped my pen. <laughs> it's hard to see in here. Mm, yeah. So, we've all been curious. Curious, What's huh? Next for the dungeon flippers. I just acquired a new dungeon for us. Okay. It's a real mess. A I real mess. may have gotten a little carried away during wow, the Wow, congrats. <laughs> we gotta flip it fast before someone else snatches it up. Ooh, a full, fast flip, Miss Karen? We'll need everyone's help this time. Okay. Laurel, think you can use your scrying skills to help us find some buyers? Definitely Maybe not. Maybe a brooding phantom or a maniacal warlord? Let's see. We'll see who's left standing after today's okay. battle at Dyer's Crossing. I'll reach out to him. Okay. You're the best. Emma, <coughs> Emma, Emma. Is Splendor's best stone worker ready to renovate? So yeah, long sure. as we don't Here awaken we any primordial abominations lost at time, again. That is the plan. Okay. Hey, Mord! Do you think our talented human resources manager could raise uh, an army of the undead? <laughs> well, we've got the we're people. We're still ignoring you, huh? Now, we just need to do what we do best. And okay, get some fine. Going. And I've got the go. perfect plan for it. Why? We flip this pile of bricks and host an open dungeon. Dungeon Flippers Episode 2. Of the dungeon now crowdfunding on Kickstarter. We were blown away by the overwhelmingly positive whatever crap. And now that we've built a solid foundation, we're ready to make a bigger and a better episode. Yay! Help bring this quest to life by supporting our campaign. Get cool backup rewards and updates as we go. With your help, we can make this epic fantasy real essay in the anime series we've all been waiting for. I took flippers. I like the transition. VA fun time! Michael Kovach, Elise Love Luck, and Lizzie Freeman! Hey everyone! Welcome to this VA fun segment that we Hey Luke with the horrible you, webcam. We have Elsie Lovelock, the Hello. voice actor of Uzi Dorm. Hi, and we have Maggie. Michael Kovac. I uh, love the voice you! Actor of Jax NN. Hello! And we have the voice actor of Pomni, Lizzie Freeman. Also, Hello. a former voice for actor context, for about Maggie. A month ago, we posted up a uh, social post where we asked the fans for some fan scenarios involving Pomni, Uzi, and or Jax. And the fans have sent through some really uh, hilarious things. And I've picked okay. out some certain um, scenarios that you guys will be acting out today. Are okay. you guys ready? Yes. Yeah! Here we go. We lost my mother. My father left me for dead. The only friends I have are the things that murdered my kind. Oh no! My body is opposed to the world ending eldritch horror. What is your nightmare that haunts you? I don't know. I got lost in a corn maze once. Congrats. My whole existence is just pain. Why? First time. <laughs> God damn. Mommy, I heard people are shipping us. Oh. What? To where? You! <laughs> oh. Well, hi there, Never mind. Clown fella. What's your name? Dang, that's a cool freaking name. Mm, oh, nice yes. name. Yes! yes. <laughs> Can we pretend that airplane is in the night sky or like shooting stars? I could really use a wish, wish right now, now. Wish, wish right now, now wish, wish right, right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> Just three shots from this kitchen gun and my dirty sink will look good as new. Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> I love kitchen guns! Yeah! Gun. Kitchen guns! It's so sad that Pomni died of Ligma. I already know about the Pomni? Ad. Ligma ball! Hey, and what? Wait, 
Uh, Anne, are you high? <laughs> am, am I what? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Jax, help! Oh no! I'm we have to say Poppy. I am distracting. I'm Jax. Nice. <laughs> First funny. of all, your Jordans are completely fake. Really? <laughs> Second, There's nothing wrong with my you, feet. You, my friend, you have absolutely no good taste in anime. <laughs> oh, no. And finally, you haven't even thought about buying Spotify Premium. <laughs> oh, no. Look, look, I found a puppy. Oh, oh it's so cute. So cute. Finally, some food. Oh no! <laughs> no, no, stop crying! I need to continue explaining the Five Nights at Freddy's lore! Yeah! I need to find out lore! My fire! fire. The one desire! desire. Relief when I say I was that way! Tell me why ain't <laughs> Why do I have to be stuck in this game? Bobby, you weren't supposed oh, to know there, about that. There, there, buddy. Let it all out. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I'm going into labor! Oh, no. <laughs> guys, guys! My father is in the night court! Oh, Woo! no! Yeah! yeah! I don't know what that is. Uh, excuse me, he asked for no pickles. Really? Mm, I don't like pickles. Pickles. Don't with me. I have the power of God. And, and, and anime on my side. Thank you guys so much. That's the end of oh, that segment. Man. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Guys, did you have yeah. fun? Yeah. yeah it was oh so fun. man, I, I wish we could have more. These guys are shows. They are so talented. I love Again, you. I want to say how important yeah. voice acting is to just you know really bring life to the characters and you just how great voice actors are. Thank you so so much. I love you all very very much, and I'm so glad that you enjoyed it and loving our little edgy bean. Ah. Thank you so much. Thank you to the yeah. fans. Yeah, you guys are awesome, and it's always lovely getting to see just yeah. everything that you guys love do. Love you, Michael Cole, Just knowing that you guys are Lizzie Freeman, so Elise, love you so awesome. Just if anyone Especially out there, you, if you're interested in doing four. voice actor, I say follow your intuition and go for it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Follow your dreams. Well, thank follow you guys so Follow my dreams. Go the next follow your dreams. We'll catch you around. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Hi. <laughs> Bugs. Cosmic Travelers. I've got an unknown code. Aren't you scared? Haven't you heard? The unknown means possibility. And only it can bring us surprises. Hi, critics. We are Stars Animation. Hi. We are so excited to introduce our new project. Cosmic Travelers. Cosmic Travelers. Hi. I'm Imono, the director. Hi, Imono. I'm Tim. Hi, producer. Tim. In Cosmic Travelers, we make 2D with 3D to keep that. Oh, that's and nice. With space ex need space exploration. We Ooh. want our animation to okay. be the Come on. You cannot handle the cringe. There's no cringe in this one. Of course, it's going to be fire. Planet existence. And our involving connection Come on. The animation looks fire. It's a journey 2D and 3D? Come on, survival. the combination is and unbelievable. Humanity's role in an interconnected universe. Really? Our character, Rook, an orphan, Rook? and SMG his four? companions, no way. Maria and Ember, embark on a mission to uncover why Earth has lost Earth. contact with the outside world. Contact with the outside the way, world. They really? They face really? that echo in our world today. If you love 2D animation and, and three, want to see how an indie animation yeah. studio including 3D producer, animation, follow us on YouTube and Instagram for updates. Yeah. Thank you for supporting indie animation. I love indie animation. We are excited to share this journey with you. W. Ooh, what's this? Punch, punch forever. Hey, we have to hurry. 
Punch Punch Forever is about 11 year old Go Go Master. Ah, the Japanese nostalgia. The, the anime nostalgia. Tournament. However, in the fifth you added modern anime and no nostalgia into this. It's more of a spectacle for the Come on. Oh, the Wook Donald. Oh, damn. <laughs> I need to clean the house. Hey, this go go girl ain't half bad. Maybe ah, she's winning after all. Yeah. I'll just have to wait for episode 300. 300? Uh, 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 two? Two? Well, the creator of the show, Speedo Roo, has a special message just for you. Okay. What? Oh, uh, uh, what are you doing? What's going on, He's big very fella? tired. Oh, He's done. Cheese. You uh, working on episode four three? Cheese? Uh huh. Here's a sneak preview. Yeah. Hey, yo. Well, that was cool. It didn't look very finished, though. Oh, yeah. It will be out eventually. You know how it is with indie animation. Unless this cheese was poisoned. Oh, rip. The cheese touch? I poisoned it myself. So, uh, oh, got no. anything you want to say before we skedaddle on out of here? Oh, you can find no. Punch Punch Forever right here on YouTube. Just go to the search bar and... <laughs> Yeah. You can find it directly on my channel or on Newgrounds. It also actually shows Newgrounds. up. Newgrounds. Just Google it. Anyways. Yeah, Google it. Cheese. Whoa. Hey, easy on the cheese. Oh buddy. my God. Well, dab. Pudge, pudge, forever. Hi, yeah. I mean, V. Wasted budget in between. Hi, idiots. Jay. Our contract is for Jensen up Jay Jensen and Jensen in space. Oh, tell me about it, V. Creativity's okay. not as easy to corporate vice grip as I thought. These frickin' indie animation artists want to make it look good. I can't climb the capitalism ladder at this rate. You have a ladder? My foot's in the door. Ooh. But this animation work is so complex, high cost, and requires meticulous perfection. Yeah, just kind of go for it. A little yeah. messy, a little screamy. That's cool, I, not gonna I lie. sound like cubicles, but yes, the mess. How can it take weeks or even months to prepare even just a few seconds? Well, I don't do v, leftovers. What the heck? Less rich, much less. The upfront cost versus the promise of return? It's so financially risky. I just wish... Huh. What are you talking about? I don't know. N. Uzi. Better be at this desk when I get back. Ah! Oh no! Bug. What are you doing here? Please speak out. Bug and coming transmissions. Hi there, Glitch Eggs. We are so excited to tell you about our upcoming pilot episode called Spice Frontier Escape Spice from Belvedere. Frontier. Here's a quick rundown on what this sci fi adventure is all about. Ooh, this is Ken. What's your he's a chef, he's human, he's Kentucky raised by aliens, Williams. and he's trying to fix the universe. Wait, what? okay. This is Sila. She's a cyborg, and she's the pilot of the Serrano, which, yes. Is a spaceship named after a pepper. This is Ada. Oh, Sila is a she's pepper. a scientist. Okay. She's the youngest Anna member of the crew, and she's voiced by me. Here, oh, please. Very you nice. You may know me on the internet for my cosplays and okay. music. And like I said, I'm okay. also the voice of Ada in Spice Frontier. Correct. It's just in my head. If you like Star Trek, Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and, and Dragons, Treasure Planet, Treasure then Planet. Spice Frontier is right All up your three alley. of them. Rounding out the crew is a mechanic named Eloy, Explosion a computer moment. hacker Here named it is. and a mechanoid called Nexus. So you're probably wondering, what happens in the first episode? Imagine a future where the very memory of humanity is fading. Thanks to a galactic war, Earth Ooh. is gone. And what? with it, the treasured ritual of sharing delicious meals together. Can the Spice Frontier crew nice. unite the universe over a bowl of mac and cheese? Bo bowl of mac and cheese. Is destined to be forgotten. Find out by subscribing to the Steamroller Animation YouTube channel. Okay. And make sure to hit the bell for notifications. Yay! Steamroller is dropping the pilot in May 2025. May 2025. But in the meantime, you can check out the Spice Frontier short film that's on YouTube right now to yeah. get a taste of the Spice Frontier universe. Taste? Get it? No. Anyways, that's all for now, and big thanks again to GlitchX for letting okay. us talk about this project. See you guys later! No Bye! Worries. Spice Frontier! Shout to Stream Roller Animation! What's next?
Ooh, this is like Pokemon. What is up? No, it's not. It's not. It's not. This is Andy coming to you live from the future aboard the Enceladus 5. Okay. Wait, is it live if I'm sending video back in time through a temporal bending algorithm? Well, Whatever. If you want to see what okay. me and my friends are up to in the year P197, then check out Enceladus 5. Okay. Follow at 1111anim 11, 11, on 11, TikTok. 11am. Cool vids we send from the future. Check okay. out the first episode. Call me this November, 1111 11, NM. Okay, what's next? Beware what lurks in the outlands. Oh, oh, oh! Call me original! The yin the yang long throw, I mean, symbol. A dark tale! Untold power! The yin and yang symbol! A cursed house! What evil will it be? What's a girl to do? Only evil and defeat another kind of evil house on the outlets. Watch it now. By Make Originals. Very nice. Oh, what's next? Interviewing Owen Rogers. Ooh, hey, hey guys. guys, hello. We are so Hi. excited to say that Owen Hobo Rogers, Bros, the creator Andy, of and Final Owen Space, Rogers. is here with us today. And also the pilot of Godspeed. Owen, we are so excited to have you just for the for the new viewers. Hobo watching. Bros um, and Owen to Rogers. Know a little bit about no Final way. Space and just yeah. a little bit about um, yeah, Godspeed as well. Yeah. Just your, the shows that you've made. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, Final Space really started out as a uh, really terrible, awful animated uh, cartoon okay. called Gary Space. Don't G look it Gary up. Space. Still online. <laughs> Just don't. Oh, no. Don't ever watch it because it will ruin every uh, impression you have of me. <laughs> I didn't know Love how to it. animate, so I was yeah. just trying. I was trying my best with what I had. Um, but then I was like really wanting to do animation. I, I had always wanted to do animation since a kid. Really, since like Toonami, you okay. know, like Dragon Ball Z, wow. and Dragon Ball Z, and I was like, man, I really want to do this. So, six years after that, I think I approached um, New Form Digital. All it was like this them little digital company that was like funding created. people's passion projects. Explosion and moment. Done like a few projects. It creates um, this from people kind of like in my circle animation. of YouTubers, wow. and I was like, you know what? I'm not going to leave this set. Yeah. So I try to go pitch. Do not give up, folks. An idea. And one of them was for Final Space. And all okay, I had was well. just an image of a character, which was Gary, Gary. Uh, in Mooncake, okay. because I was doing concept art. And I was like, that was it. That's my pitch. Oh, it's like, I do Mario? an animated thing. Five, four, three, two, one? Favorite. Yeah, yeah. They, they, wow, they were like, wow. It was really funny, too, because I had or like, cube. I had a, an entire book that I was working on, a sci-fi book, that's okay. finally coming out this year. But I was like, I have this book that could be a really cool live action sci-fi thing. Or have this one little Very piece nice. of animated like concept art. Huh. Which one do you want to do? They're like, we've never done animation. Let's do it. So okay. they gave me 10K, which is okay. nothing. You know, but I didn't know at the time. Like 10K, what, what can I do with that? Yeah, and this what is where can you it gets do with crazy. that? They that reached crazy. out to an Australian animator uh, nice. like who was essentially wanting to break out from doing college humor videos. His name was Joe Brum, the Joe creator of Brum. Bluey. Ooh, oh, yeah. oh, wow. wow. He basically wow. was like, okay. I love this script. I need something to show that I can do something more than, um, you know, just college humor stuff. And I was Ooh, like, let's okay. go. Essentially, he animated it and it, he, he crushed it. He absolutely crushed it. Yeah, he nailed and that. was able to kind of put it online. Let and him cook. Within like the next day, I had gotten messages from like Lionsgate, Adult Swim. And, and I was like, wow, I feel like my life is about Earth to change zones. here because... This is like that moment that you've been building up to, and went out Los to LA, Angeles. pitched it, sold it to every single place that okay. heard the pitch, and I didn't really know how to pitch, so I was doing things that 
typical people didn't really do in a pitch. You know, I was like standing up. I would stand up. I remember okay. I even had one bit in there where, where I did like the Dino DNA from, from Jurassic Park, where I mm. recorded a thing and timed it perfectly. Ooh, so I would be talking yeah. to myself in the presentation. Yeah, as you, that's and it was gotta like, be a perfect they just idea got a sense for and all feel of the show. Person, you know, I was just kind of going up there. and trying to. Yeah, it's actually a genius idea. A passion project. Uh, you know? teachers, uh, it sounds like everyone really here, the whole world. I would love yeah. to watch that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's incredible about your story and really actually relatable for us is like you, you started on YouTube just yeah. making whatever you could with whatever you had, you know? Yeah. And then yeah. and then incredible that it just started growing from there and then you can yeah. to YouTube and Netflix. Okay. Like, that's wild. Very that's, inspiring. That's, yeah. yeah. That's an awesome Thank you. story, man. The funny thing though, Netflix wouldn't hear the pitch for me. Oh. They were kind of burnt out on the YouTuber. I think bringing yeah. in a show. And, yeah, you know, Netflix and I've done is nothing. just I, I have nothing to my name. It was like they expected it to right. be bad, right? right. So they, Netflix they were putting is just me at the greedy. end of the day. They were putting right? me wow. in the Dano, positions where like animations. This, this, this isn't going to be very good. Ricky, the then after that day, right? Everything changed. I was pitching in boardrooms after that point. Okay, I didn't know anybody. It was all Konako. Right. Konako, kind of Konako, okay. because I brought them onto the project. Right. They used okay. their resources to be like, let's set up some pitches. They were just setting up pitches left and right, and I was just pitching people. The crazy thing though is like I went in crazy amount of debt because ah, it was just me oh. going up to LA, staying in hotel hopping for six months because yeah. I didn't know when. Nobody told me like, hey, when are we pitching? Yeah, you know, just give me the week that we're pitching. They're yeah, like, your life is suffering there. so far. I'm like, right. until now. Yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, what? That's crazy. I've, I've never heard that. I've nah. never heard of that before. Nothing's so you, you, you in LA six months just like six waiting months. and hoping yeah. to, get, to get the pitch. Yeah. yeah. And then after the fact, when I sold the show, I was like, when is it starting? You know, like when it, yeah. at yeah. what point it, it's, it's like, well, we got to do the deal process. So we imagine three months waiting around. Is it going to happen? Not going to happen. I didn't have any reps. So I didn't have an agent, manager, mm -hmm. lawyer, yeah. nothing. Mm -hmm. I had to get that on the fly. And then when I sold my show, I remember my attorney and my rep saying, look, everybody's already made their deal. You're oh. going to get the scraps. What does that what mean? What does that mean? And they're like, well, we're going to try to make exactly. a good deal. The idea of like, it must be so tough to sort of just sit and waiting and just wait oh. for, for the pals that okay. be, you know, to tell yeah. you what's happening next to your, your show. Like the lack of control would scare the hell I out of me. Yeah. I thought of it. that, yeah, of like not knowing, like, is it is it going to okay. happen, is it not, you know? And was this your full-time, like, thing dur during this time? I was do pretty much doing YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So, doing YouTube so, is so, fine. Yeah. But I was also, like, trying to get this thing figured out. I course, couldn't talk yeah. about it, right? You can't talk oh, about it because okay. it's the deal. Yeah. You don't know if it's going to happen or not. And I was just kind of stuck in a limbo for, for a good six months. I remember like, look, I have to talk about this in some way. I, and I, I remember talking to my agent. He was like, well, let's just leak it. Leak it? <laughs> I was like, leak can we it. do that? It's like, can we do that? It's like, yeah. And the whole thing in Hollywood is like, just do it and, uh, and apologize later. Cool. That's like every mantra that oh, damn. I've heard. That first year was, it was tough. But I think after that, it, it steadily started to turn into oh, a nightmare. Damn. After that first <laughs> season, I, I signed a, a first look deal. Because I was like, look, if somebody wants to hear my ideas and okay. they want to give me some money to develop those ideas and I can pitch it to them, yes, I want to do that. But they would sit on my ideas for yeah. eight months Be and they wouldn't give eight me an I, It was like a bonkers thing where I was like, I guess people, when they just do this deal, they just sit and they don't no do anything. Way. But I was like, yeah, they don't I was do wanting anything. to make something else, you know? Eight yeah. months. That's crazy. Yeah. They only had two weeks to give an answer. Four months but left until the year I kept hearing, ends. you got to be a good partner. Right, you gotta be a good partner. You gotta they wait. are being a, a bad partner, partner be a to I've you. I've heard that so much that it just kind of drives you insane. So really, like it, it became more about playing the game of yeah. this like hacky sack between these companies, yeah. between yeah. these yeah. producers, oh, yeah. wow. than the show itself. Yeah, you know, it felt like more of your mental energy went towards like politics than politics. Yeah. Than making the show. That's, That's crazy. Nah. Stuff, yeah. Season two was still the the hardest one i mean imagine getting like 30 to 40 rounds of notes on one script mm. that you know is overstuffing it yeah. but executives want more they want more I comedy I, I, more more comedy i couldn't imagine, imagine i would that. hate that so i much. would hate yeah. that so much man. it's rough when goose After and liam like, they write their scripts and when liam was making murder drones and goose was making the dude's hook it's like yeah. you know maybe we'd have like one note and it'd be like yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that might get demonetized. With YouTube. Like that, yeah. that's, that's, that's all. Yeah, yeah demonetized. Yeah. The, the fact that like 
every single thing you wrote or created was getting like dissected and diluted. Yeah. Yeah. It must have been like, I don't know, I don't know a good visual for it, but seeing like your creation slowly get warped and turned into okay. yeah. something that wasn't even what it originally was in the first place. Yeah. That, that must have been really tough for you. That started to really play games with your head of like, how do I just mm. hold on to the slivers that mm. make it the show that I started mm. out with, right? Yeah. Yeah. I still remember that getting a, a call from executives after we had done all 13 animatics of, of season two, and we yeah. just sent, Better we just sent the last that episode Runner? To, to get animated. No way. And we get a call that says, hey, is there any way we can that take from I know it. season two and turn it into 10? And Ten. Like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, no. There, yeah. Episode 10 is my least favorite episode. Like, what do we... No, we can't do that. It ends on that moment. Like, that's a big yeah. season two moment. Yeah. And we built, like, a year of building up to the arcs swim. and everything and, and, and coming to that point. And they wanted to end it at season Yeah, you can't just, you can't just cut, yeah. like, yeah. a whole chunk of... Oh, it was... Coming, right? So we okay. spent all night theorizing, how can we do this, right? All night. We left at, like, 4 a.m., 5 a.m., and we uh. came back in the next day at like 10 and we were like, we think we have an idea of how we can fix it. And they said, no, 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 don't worry about it. We figured it out. We're doing you 13. Sure? And you're like, holy crap. Oh my God. Like I'm going oh insane. Like this yeah. season is just like, it, it's one thing after another. This is so standard in the yeah. industry. Which right? really sucks. Which really, yeah, really sucks. sucks. And one thing that like, life is we've suffering. been trying to tell the whole industry now that people are really looking at glitch and what we're doing, if if any execs are watching this, art in general, it's 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 the expression yeah. of a person, yeah. right? Like this yeah. final space is part of your identity. Yeah. And the reason why yeah. like Digital Circus and Murder Drums did so well is because they are authentically it's a Goose Works and yeah. authentically mm. Liam Vickers. A full yeah. Liam Vickers it's their Goose personality Works. in show form. To take that and try to change it, right? Mm. You lose the sense of like what art is yeah. at the end of the day, right? What animation is, and that is expression of self through uh -huh. the art. Yes. Yeah. Right on the money. That is so refreshing. Refreshing, to, right? To hear. To, like, Thanks, man. You don't hear it every day. You don't hear yeah. everybody. No, and that's you do, why it's you like, do not. And it, no. it is, it is criminal, like that. Oh, that is man. not the norm. That, yeah, like, it's not a norm. norm it's not a norm. norm. The, okay? the crazy it's thing was, you know, when Final Space got canceled. canceled. The only way I could describe how it f felt was like I was losing my friends. Mm. Not the people, right. like the, not the people that, like obviously the people that worked on the show, you know, but the characters. I was yeah. losing a part of myself, mm. and they were stuck at the worst possible moment. And so I kept replaying that moment in my head. It's like I, I've I've lost them. Uh, that was like that was my entire like. How do I save these characters? So I I was really trying to figure out how to obviously do the graphic novel. And after two years, I got the I got okay. a license yeah. to do that, and that's awesome. Nice. How you spoke on really creators and and how they're putting a part of themselves in that show, and it's an extension of them. The more okay. people warp that, it, you really start to like kind of lose yourself, and and you start to lose that identity of like, well, what am I making? Like, who am I? You know, like, yeah, uh, who I'm not are the only you? One that's went through it's, it. it's, it's every yeah. single yeah. person oh, like that's oh, gone through that yeah. that Hollywood machine. Yeah. It's it's yeah. The, it's the same thing. I've heard it many, sadly, many many times. But that mm -hmm. you know, I guess that yeah. leads perfectly into Godspeed, right? Which was ah, okay. Just, yeah. just for our viewers watching, Godspeed yeah. is Olin's indie animated show that yeah. he was able to create and distribute through YouTube. It's on yeah. YouTube right now. You should yeah. go check it Definitely out. Definitely right watch this. it. Um, watch. But, yeah. So after two years after the the show got canceled, I was like, well, what do I do? You know, making Godspeed was like, let's show kind of people what we can do yeah. with the, the experience and, and what we've learned making Final Space. You know, let's let it breathe. Let's make something that it's an extension of, of who we are right now. YouTube the thing that we were kind of, of going through while we were writing it was the show was disappearing. So I was like, look, mm. I don't care if it dies. Mm. I just don't want it to be forgotten. And yeah. so we just took that and we said, that's our story. That's oh. what we're going to write about. Yeah, Everybody probably. might not connect with it, but it's just at that point, it, it well, meant something to me. The awesome thing that you guys have done with the Netflix and uh, Digital Circus, that's awesome. That's okay. a huge deal. I okay. mean, congrats and, and, and to And I'll tell you a little bit why that's a huge deal. 
the thing when it comes to Hollywood deals, right? But why not add other shows? If it has never been especially done before, Battle Under Sunset Paradise, they don't do it. Into that right. Netflix. So if a deal has been into made, Netflix, why? There and, and you want something, they're like, well, that's not how the. Why not add other right? shows? So it's really hard to get a new kind of deal made until somebody comes up and yeah. smashes the wall, uh, and then yeah. everybody yeah, so after that point has an yeah. ability to, to make a deal very similar to what you yeah. guys have yeah. done. Yeah. I'm, I'm which, so glad that, that you said that. Like That's yeah. exactly the reason why we wanted to do this deal as well, because mm. it is the yeah. first of its kind where a show has completely come out on YouTube or has been coming out on yeah. YouTube first, and then on, uh. not exclusively gets to be licensed to a streaming sub. It is that's, the first time this has happened. Bonkers. Yeah, <laughs> bonkers, I, honestly, right? Is it a typical license deal? Like, what is the, the structure of, of, of what that kind of deal looks like? Because it seems like it's a licensing deal that they're going to put it on Netflix, and obviously yep. you get to contain all the rights, IP, yeah, right. merchandise, all that stuff, which I love because back in Final Space Days, those kind of deals didn't exist. They wouldn't yeah. think about. They would want to own the thing that you have. They would want to own everything. Yeah. yeah it's basically they just licensed everything. out non-exclusively. Yeah. And they just maintain want to steal all things. the rights, all the control, everything. Um, yeah. It's it, honestly the amount of work and flights to LA yeah. that it took to get to where we are. It's yeah. never existed before, and I'm so happy that it's animation that that gets to be the first like on the platform to be able to do this kind of thing so, okay yeah. and yeah, it's a yeah. great it's a great window too for you guys to access a whole nother part of of the world you know like it's it's mm -hmm. all over the place but it's so right. many more eyes where it gives you guys the credibility it gives you guys uh, a, a huge vehicle for an independently funded thing Okay. That's massive. That's a huge yeah. thing. Yeah, it doesn't and exist. Very huge. No, exactly. And, and what I started hearing from just recently from other creators, uh, they told us like, hey, because some execs heard about the Netflix deal and what they're doing with you, other people in the industry are reaching out to us. And now we're like talking these deals as well. I'm like, okay, that's yeah. incredible. Like, it's yeah, incredible it is that, incredible. And it's so way. fast as well. Like YouTube is, is, YouTube's here to stay. It's not like this, not like back in 2015, yeah. 2014, oh, where it's oh, like right. people yeah. are making shows that are really high quality, that have huge audiences. Ah, uh, lack of really daisy, like how you, little right? boss. where the attention is Spooky now, mind. Right? And yeah. I think that's so, so powerful that we get the control, we get to keep the control there as well. Mm -hmm. And we get to have the say in like how these deals go. I, I think it's incredible and a huge win yeah. you know, for all of us. Dude, okay. it's so hard to get any sort of leverage on on animation deals. Like, I can't stress yeah. how hard that is. So if okay. the more knowledge of making licensing deals gets out to people making animation, the better the entire industry will be going forward. Yeah. That means yeah. you are not gonna be in a situation like me where you're having to fight just to get the little sliver just to finish your story, okay. right? Okay, right. And right. I think if you guys are able to keep that licensing deal, you know, hopefully you guys can keep making kind of deals like that with other streamers and Netflix. Mm -hmm. I think that's great. I think that's awesome. What, what's really clear that we're seeing is it's it's working and yeah, the community, cares, a lot the community of wants to see more of this sort of stuff, right? Yeah, and so if anything, lot. And that, that's actually the whole purpose of GlitchX. It's to amplify all of this, yeah. all these yeah, players it and everything that we're doing and showing everything. that like, we hold the power and we hold the Meta Runner, to make whatever we want, make a huge, huge splash I like in the Meta world Runner. by doing it. Thank you, you for adding those to everyone series. else. Yeah. So Luke I, I reached Kevin. out to, to Kickstarter and I actually took a, I'm, I'm like doing a consulting gig for Kickstarter because they want to help oh. out in the oh. animation. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Huge, Congrats. huge. So look, if anybody has a project, anybody has a project you want to get kickstarted, Come talk to me. I can help you out. Okay. You're about to get uh, a really? thousand. Emails. Yeah, no. Come yeah. Yeah. message me. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, one of on. these people has to step up and actually want to do something to help out. And talk to Patreon. Talk to Kickstarter. Kickstarter, Kickstarter was like, look, we we like what you're saying. Like, how can we help? And that's, that's right. um, so I'm like a I'm consultant for like four months. So look, you have you right. have a win. Four months. Come talk. Okay. <laughs> like, um, there yeah, you go. Nice. So all the other creators. Olin's Olin's your guy. Talk, we'll yeah, yeah. Olin, thank you so much, man. It was great having you on the show. Ah, we will, okay. We will see, see you, ya, Olin Rogers. All right. Oh, there will yeah. be more. There will be more. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> see ya, Olin right, Rogers. <laughs> and bye, hi, bug. Aw, Jax, looks like we're circus. at the end of Glitch X. Ragapha Are and Jax. Oh, thank God. Oh, which indie show was your favorite? Huh? Oh, I don't know. I, I wasn't paying know. attention. Well, okay. damn.
Well, anyway, just a reminder to all you cool cats at home. What? Please go and support all the indie creators you saw here today. Yeah. We would really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Or don't. I don't really care either way. Dax, <laughs> you just like not for five seconds. Anyway, bye everybody. Bye, Jack. Hey, I wanted to say that. Hey everyone, thank you yes, so much. It's for the end. X 2024. That was an amazing blast. Mm -hmm. Everyone yeah, is that we showed, an please go blast. check them out, support them how you can. If there was anything that really interested you, we really implore you guys to go and support them. Yep. And it can be as simple as just sharing and talking about the show. Really like this industry, the indie animation scene, yep. it really, really lives off of you guys sharing it. That's I mean, amazing. Yeah, and that's the whole purpose of Glitchek, to be that megaphone and that amplifier for all mm -hmm. of these incredible, incredible shows. That's what you said to And ultimately, Olin, that, at right? Glitch, that's what we want to do. We're doing all of this so the whole industry can can get the support it needs. And at the end of the day, we get some really cool shows that we can mm -hmm. all watch and share together. Yeah. So yeah, you can go amazing. check out everything that we've shown. Again, um, it links in the description. There's also glitchx.com where we um, mm -hmm. fully show off everyone that we've shown today. Yeah, yeah that's you can right. Go support them there. And usually what we do, or rather last time, we're like, wait, there's one more thing, you know? And we do that whole like, uh, oh, got oh, oh thing where really? Like, they just a trailer or something. Yeah. But, um, not, not for this one. Instead, okay. I, I want to have a really, really important okay. conversation to all the creators, all the animation. Yep, call you all in the creators. Creators in general. Or anyone out there. wanting mm -hmm. to make anything really. Yeah, fun. really. I, I really want to talk to you guys. Yep. Okay, this is it what is this amazing. part is for uh, before we sign off. This entire industry is 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 growing, and we're seeing yep. more and more people create stuff. That's fantastic, and a as lot, you probably saw actually, from this stream itself, or from this video itself, people making Kickstarters, people okay. making Patreons, people are getting their shows funded. Good job, you did the hard part. Yeah, thing. congrats. Getting a show funded is actually the hard part, right? What I really, really yeah, want I to want the hard part to be over. That there's a whole nother area that yeah. now that creators need to be yeah. cognizant on, right? And that is the business side of it. And yes, I know, yep. I know it, it can be a bit boring. Boring. Yeah. yeah. And I know boring. a lot of you guys want to focus on the art, right? But truly, just like production management is, is important, it just is like managing your files, right? Knowing schedule, yep, no being schedule. able to delegate work, yep, all that, delegate work. Like, that is important for a show. Mm -hmm. Knowing the business and operational side of things is also as really, really important. That's knowing how to manage the yep. money. That's Remember knowing how that. to be accounting, the tax, the legal side of it. I, I know that sounds like a lot, but it's something that needs to be considered. It's very important. Yeah. Um, we're, we're really lucky because Luke's more of the creative side and I'm more of the business side. Yeah, I like you both. Point, so we're really lucky. Both. And I wouldn't expect any single creator to know all of that on their own. Mm -hmm. But all I ask is just know a little bit of the basics. If you do a Kickstarter, know where that money is going. Know what... It needs to be taxed. Yeah, mm -hmm. taxed. know what's tax deductible, yeah. all that sort of stuff. Starting a company under the show would really, really help. Knowing all of those tips and tricks mm -hmm. um, can really set up your show for, for success. And we have seen people not necessarily knowing that and falling into yeah, like no these escape. big sort of pitfalls, right? Um, and we, we don't want anyone to go through that. So educate yourself. Mm -hmm. um, try to talk to people, know people in the community. You saw yep. Alan Rogers That's himself. Right. Talk to him. He's he can tell you. He's, a, he's, yeah, he's, he's a great resource. He'll be able to tell you about all of that sort of stuff. He's really, really knowledgeable as well. Mm -hmm. Please just be aware of the business side of things as now you're going to make these shows because it is a lot of money that's yeah, going into these shows, money. right? Knowing and understanding how to manage that money and the rights that you have mm -hmm. is going to be really, really important, okay? Yeah. That, that, that's the next big step now, right? Because all these shows are starting yeah. to get funded. Now it's the next big step, you know? Yeah, it's very um, hard. Obviously, you know, in, in the future, there's marketing and merchandise and all that sort of stuff, but like, let, let's start off with like this this managing yeah. managing the business side of it. But uh, yeah, that's, that's it from yep, us. Thank you so, again so much for watching. Glitch yep. X. Yep, also wanted all. to give a special shout out hey. to Sadie Spark for his support in assisting us in this year's Glitch X. Thank you guys so much and we will see you guys next year. Yep. See ya, Hobo Bros. And bye, Bug. <laughs> bye, Bug. Thanks for watching. I like you, Luke. Lord Wichico. I like you, Kevin Lord Wichico. Owen Rogers. Anna Jax, Michael Kovach, Uzi, Elisa Love, Locke, Palmy, Lisey Freeman, Kate, Alex Swatchin, Ragapa, Amanda Huffer, Jay, Sheriff Kirby, V, Noah Klops. Yep. 
congrats to all the spotlights who are in Glitch X 2024. Not gonna lie, Punch Punch Forever. I, I forgot what it looks like. It has a square ratio with uh, modern anime and nostalgia. I like that. Jasmine Yang, of course. Cube FM, Gooseworks, William Vickers. Yeah. Glitch and SMG 14s. Yep. I like you guys. Bye. Have a great day and I'll see you next year. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. That's the end of this video and I'll see you next time.